How to set up WordPress site in a subfolder on Cloud Panel. Click on the domain name or manage link. Click on File Manager. Now, navigate to your site root directory. Here you will find all the files for your first WordPress install. Click on the Add New button and create a new folder called WP2. Now, open the folder WP2. Here we will upload the WordPress installation zip file. I have already downloaded the WordPress zip file on my system and will simply browse the folder and select it to upload. Wait for the upload to complete. You can upload using SFTP also if required. Now, right click on the folder and extract the contents. Browse the extracted folder, select all the files, cut them and paste it in the WP2 folder. Once done you can delete the WordPress zip file and the empty folder. Next, we will create a new database and user for this WordPress installation. Click on Add Database, then add a unique database name and username. I am using the same name just for this demonstration. Do not use underscore in the name as that is not supported in Cloud Panel. I have copied the password to my clipboard, as this will be used in the next step during WordPress installation wizard. Finally, click on Add Database. Now, browse the website URL for the subfolder WP2. This will load the WordPress installation wizard. Follow the steps and complete installation. Installation completed. Now, let's log into the admin panel and upload few images. At this point, the website and subfolder will load, however, it will not display the images and process PHP properly. I will show you how it looks by editing the sample page. Deleting some content and adding an image from the media gallery. You will notice that it does not display properly and throws an error. Now, let's fix this by adding few lines in the vhost of the main site. I will share the link to the code in the description. You can copy this in the 80 443 block. I have pasted it above the settings line.
you may want to replace WP2 with the name of your subfolder. If you want more websites running in a subfolder, create a similar block for each site. Now, let's edit the sample page again to add an image from gallery. Update the page and load it in the browser. The image will load properly now. Congratulations! You have successfully installed a WordPress site in a subfolder. I'd like to thank you for watching. You have a wonderful day.